Hi, hello. Welcome back again uh, to our YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, again, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon and select all so that you will be updated on our newly uploaded videos. Okay. This is the continuation of the previous part. Okay, I will call this part two. Yung part one kanina, we have the yung question doon is only due to pre-stressing force. Alright? So here, we will have part two. So pag hindi nyo pa napanood yung part one, panoorin nyo. Kasi hindi nyo mahahabol to pag uh, pinanood nyo lang yung part two. So I suggest you watch the first part first. Okay? Okay. Now, let's proceed with the second question. The stress at the top fiber of the slab at this pan due to loads and pre-stressing force. So, na na natin yung, ito yung initial pre-stress. We discussed this in part one. Initial pre-stress yeah. So, ano yung stress due to loads and the pre-stressing force? Kasali na ito. Now, this time, may load na. Ito na, merong load na. na? Due to loads and pre-stressing force. By the way, at this pan. Okay, so ibig sabihin, in-service na yung ating slab. So, of course, we will anticipate, uh, we can anticipate the immediate effect of that. But, we have to anticipate, if we have here the losses at service loads, we will now apply these losses over time. Okay, so we will apply this losses, the loss of pre-stress here. Together, of course, with the, of course, the load will not have any loss of stress due to loads. There will be loss of stress due to the, inter, the, the material, internal capacity ng material mo due to fatigue, acrypt, shrinkage, and several other factors. Okay, so what we will do first, kukunin mo natin yung loads on the slab. We are given those loads. Okay, so the loads consist of everything is in pressure. So 2.5 kilopascal for the slab weight, the live load is 2.7, and for the superimposed dead load is 2.4. By the way, we will not apply here load factors. Now we are only computing allowable here. So walang load factors. Na? Okay. Kilopascal. Paano mo gawin kilonewton per meter yan? Na? The length of this is uh, 8 meters. Simple support. So to make it uh, kilonewton per meter, we multiply it by the width of the beam. In this case, the 1.2 meters. I multiply mo yan by the width. Okay. So the, uh, the effective width is 1.2 the actual width. So that will be 2.5 plus 2.7 plus 2.4 times 1.2 meters. That will give you 9.12 kilonewton per linear meter along the length. Take note, the length is 8 meters. Okay? Then since midspan naman yung inahanap dito, midspan, then we will compute the moment at the midspan where the stress is required. Okay? So W is going to break. Kung yung hinanap dito at L over 4, you compute the moment at L over 4, of course. So, what you memorize it? Ah, compute double L square number 8. Kahit pala, hindi nyo na binasa yung kaalasan yung hinanap na stress. Meets pa nyo hinanap. Kasi kung sa support, halimbawa, what if kung sa support yung hinanap, then walang moment, then the only stress at support is due to pre-stress yung force. Of course, considering the losses also. Okay? So, yun, mispan tayo, kaya W L square number 8. So, substitute W, the length is 8. That will give you 72.96. Okay. Then, computein natin yung stress caused by that. Computein na lang natin. Na? M over S. M over S. And that will give you, take note, plus and minus yan. Ngayon, saan yung plus, saan yung minus? Ha? Okay, remember, the load will cause the beam to deflect Paganon, to bend downward. Meaning the load will induce a positive stress on bottom fiber and a negative stress on the top fiber. Okay, ganon yung ating nature ng stress. Uh, yung plus sa bottom fiber, yung minus sa top fiber. Okay, so this is due to the stress pa lang, ha? Di pa kasali yung pre-stress. Okay, now, let's combine this one with the pre-stress. The stress due to pre-stress. Okay, ito na yun, ha? So, nag-cross lang tayo. So, ito yung stress kanina na compute natin in part 1. But this is initial. Wala pa yung losses. Okay? 
Now, if we include the losses, we will be using the same diagram, but we will subtract a 20% loss from here. So, how will you do that? So, meaning, halimbawa, dito, 1.31 minusan mo yan ng 20%. Okay? So, ano ba yung 20% dyan? Or, para madali, i-multiply mo na lang ng 80%. Yun yun yung effective niya after loss. So, ito yung magiging result niya. 1.31 times 80% or 1 minus 0.2. That will be 1.448. That is now already bawas na yung losses dyan. Pati yung nasa baba, ganun din. It will be 11.16. So, ito yung stress natin due to pre-stress after removing the loss. Okay? And finally, ito naman yung loss, I mean stress niya, due to the given loads. Ayun. So we have negative yung nasa taas, positive yung nasa baba. Kasi yung bending natin is bent up. Kaya again, baka nakalimutan nyo na, kasi this load here causes a positive bending, causing a positive stress sa bottom fiber and a negative stress on the top fiber. I hope you get that. Okay? So, combining these effects, that will give you these stresses. Okay? Negative 9.28 sa taas and negative 0.43 sa bottom fiber. Lahat in compression. Nakuha nyo? Ha? I hope nakuha nyo. So, ito yung ating due to pre-stress, binawasan natin ng load. Ito naman yung due to the load. Of course, do not subtract losses. There is no, my loss bang load. Siguro merong reduction of loads because especially live load. The load is always there. You cannot reduce that. Live load, pwede. Kasi yung live load is assumed. But that's different. Itong loss dito ng 20% is the material due to the material steel, pre-stressing tendon, and the concrete combined that everything is yun, 20%. Okay, now let's have part three. The question number three. What? Okay, the maximum additional in addition to these loads. Ano da yung pwede natin idagdag? But this time is kilonewton meter yung per meter yung required. That the slab can be subjected to without exceeding the allowable stresses. The allowable stresses are two point two in tension and fifteen point five in compression. Okay, makinig kayo. This is a very critical question. Malaming nalilito dito. Okay, makinig kayo. How will you do that? Question number three. First, let's have the question number two. We already have this one in the previous question. Okay? So this is the stress due to the given loads with losses. Now, kung titinan nyo, yung particular compression, isipin nyo ha, kapag magdagdag nung magdagdag tayo ng magdagdag tayo ng load pa, Magiging lalaki ito negatively. Ito naman lalaki positively. So, ang mangyayari dyan, ito magig, mas, magiging mas malaki pa ito pag dinagdagan natin. Magiging 10, 11, negative 12, negative 13, 14, and so on. Hanggang umabot. So, hindi, hindi pa siya umabot doon sa 18.5 na allowable. Malayo pa. Uh, required pa siya ng mga 5.72. Right? Okay, negative. Additional. Now, samantala naman, kapag magdagdag ka pa ng load, it will add more positive stress sa ilalim. Kaya, magdadagdag tayo ng positive dito hanggang aabot siya doon sa, of course, the limiting is the 2.2 MPA. Ganon yung terisya. Kaya, pwede pa natin dagdagan ng load yung beam. Okay? Now, ito yung magiging resulta dyan. Ang idadagdag natin, alam natin that the load will induce a negative stress sa top fiber and a positive stress sa bottom fiber. But we do not know yet what are those values. Sabihin na lang muna natin negative FB add sa top and positive FB add sa bottom. Did you get this? Parang ito yun. Kaya lang, hindi pa natin alam yung value niya kasi hindi pa alam, yun nga ang tinatanong dito yung load. Okay? Now, so the result should be like this. Ito yung magiging result natin. So, dapat, ang condition dito, the criteria is, dapat, ang value niyan must not exceed. Okay? The, okay. Uh, there may be confusion here. Uh, uh, unahin natin yung sa positive. Dapat, ang value nito ay hindi lalagpas ng 2.2 MPA. So, the result of this two must not exceed 2.2 MPA. Klaro yan. 
Dapat hindi lalagpas, hindi magiging top 3, top 4. Now, ito namang sa taas. Okay? Okay, since that is negative, forget about the negative. The absolute value of this must not exceed the absolute value of 15.5. Ganon yun. Kasi yung 15.5 here is a compression. No? Kaya negative dapat yung sign niya. To be, to, to be consistent with the sign, I, nilagyan ko yung sign back. When you compare, don't forget forget about the sign. Just use the absolute value. You know? Okay. The absolute value of the sum of this must not exceed the absolute value of this. 15.5 negative. Okay. By the rule, pwede mong eliminate, uh, eliminate yung absolute value. Just get the, the positive value. So the positive value of this must not exceed the positive value of that. All right? Did you get this? I hope klaro to, no? So that will give you the additional bending stress must not exceed 6.22. Okay? So what's the meaning of that? Meaning, para hindi mo exceed yung 15.5 MPA allowable stress in compression, the additional stress caused by the additional load must not exceed 6.22 MPA. Okay? Okay, let's go to the bottom fiber. Okay? So, walang problema to kasi positive naman to lahat. Walang problema. Walang conflict. So, the sum of these two, which is of course positive, must not exceed 2.2. Now, based on that, you will get FB additional must not exceed 2.63. Okay? Ano ka ibig sabihin ng mga sagot na to? Yeah, ito yun. So, para hindi mo malagpasan yung allowable tensile stress, na 2.2, dapat yung additional load mo, additional stress due to load, must not exceed 2.63. Post compression naman, para hindi mo malagpasan yung allowable compressive stress of 0.15.5, dapat yung additional mo, hindi lalagpas na 6.22. Now, sino na dalawang ito ang mag-govern? Obviously, yung 2.63. Ha? Huh? Ay, iba dyan naman, may memorizer, ah, gagamitin yung maliit. Ah, isipin nyo naman. Kapag ginamit mo yan, natural, kung ano yung value dito kasi, yun din yung value dito. Kapag ginamit mo 6.22 for that, okay si compression, pero si tension, hindi okay. Magre-reklamo si tension. Sasabihin, ops, ops, ha, bawal. Ha? It will be exceeded. Ha? Kapag ito yung ginamit mo, okay siya dito, dito walang problema. Kaya niya. Importante kasi dito, hindi lalagpas ng 15.5. That's the idea. Kaya gumamit ako dito ng inequality. Kung napansin nyo, ginamit ko inequality. This is how I do it in our review. I don't, whenever there is an allowable stress involved, I use inequality. Kasi students are confused what to use, whether higher value or lower value. That's the main problem. To avoid that question, gumamit kayo ng inequality. Wala ka nang matanong doon if you will use that. No? You will know what to choose, whether higher value or lower value. Finish. Yun talaga. Medyo may kahirapang konti, but that will end everything. Lahat ng mga tanong regarding rounding off. Kung mag-involve lang ng allowable stress. Na? Kaya dito, involve yung allowable stress. In the previous questions, wala, wala namang allowable doon. Kaya kung napansin nyo, hindi ako gumamit ng inequality in the previous questions. Only in part 3. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin. So the bending stress due to additional load is the additional moment divided by the section modulus and that must not exceed 2.63. So substituting the Sx of 6.8 times 10 to the 6, the additional moment must not exceed 17.884. Okay, gets nyo. I-multiply ko lang yan, cross-multiply. 2.63 times that, you will get that. And the additional moment, because this is at mid-span, huh? of course, at mid-span tayo. Huh? Mid-span yung pinaka-malaking stress. All right? Is equal to this. The additional load times L squared over 8. Diba? Ito yun. And that must not exceed 17.884. Now, if you will solve for the additional load, L is 8, okay? Kayo na lang mag-solve. The additional load must not exceed. 2.236 kN per meter. Okay? Nakuha nyo. Ayan. Ah? So, 2.2, any value that is not exceeding that is qualified. So, strictly speaking, among these choices, only letter C is qualified. Kung meron dyang choice na 1.2, ang tanong kasi dito, maximum additional load. If, the, if this is 2, then it's okay. 
Mini, apa apa kaya? Kasi ni bah hindi na pipili. Ba, tu yan. Hindi na pipili kasi malayo daw. Yun ang mindset ng iba pag hindi ka gagamit ng inequality. That's different. Halimbawa, ang tanong dito, maximum additional load. Kahit na one yan, yun, yun lang yung mas mababa doon. Then yun yung piliin mo. Kasi among the choices, yun yung pinakamalaki na pwede. Maximum additional. Did you get the point? Ganun, iba yung multiple choice exam, iba yung nagsosolve ka lang ng sarili mo. Na? So, Ganun yan kapag uh, may involved na allowable stress. Dito sa dalawa, we did not talk about it. Kasi walang allowable stress involved dito. Dito meron. Kaya ganun yan. Ganun kayo mag-solve kapag involved yung allowable. Kahit na sa strength design. Di ba? MU and PMN. The criteria there is MU must not exceed PMN. Inequality yan. Hindi yan equality. Okay. So okay, so 2.236. That is the uh, maximum uh, load that is within our allowable limit. Okay, I hope you learn a lot from this video. Thank you so much for watching our videos, and I hope you continue to watch our videos. So please don't forget to click subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get updated of our newly updated videos. Please comment below for the topic that you want us to discuss. Okay? So thank you so much.